Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Skyscrapers are reaching for new record heights. Huge tunnels are establishing new transportation connections, and colossal bridges are spanning greater distances than ever before. Around the world, gigantic engineering and infrastructure projects are opening up or closing in on their competition. So we surveyed some of the most impressive underwater mega projects in present and future to find the most jaw-dropping marvels on Earth. Number 10. Norway's Coastal Highway Norway's western coast is home to some of the most dramatic landscapes on Earth, carved by glaciers throughout the ages. Some of these fjords stretch for 200 kilometers inland and are over a kilometer deep. The current convoluted travel route through and around this terrain takes you along Norway's 1,100 kilometer or 683 mile E39 highway, a road with a total journey time of 21 hours. Now, the Norwegian government are working to improve access to services and residential and labor markets across the country's western regions by embarking on the largest infrastructure project in the nation's history. The E39 runs between Kristiansand in the far south of the country and Trondheim in the north. The route navigates its way across the fjord network and features no fewer than seven ferry crossings. The new coastal highway project aims to eliminate the need for ferry services altogether by building a series of bridges and tunnels across, through and under the landscape. With many of the fjords along the route being too wide or too deep for conventional infrastructure to cross, innovative new solutions are being investigated by the Norwegian Public Roads Administration. Rogfast is the first in a series of crossings that link the E39 connecting Stavanger and Haugesund via a 27km or 16-mile undersea tunnel. The structure will reach depths of up to 390 meters below sea level, making it the deepest as well as the longest undersea road tunnel in the world. With work begun in 2018, this element of the project is set to be completed by 2026 at a cost of 2 billion US dollars. Number 9. The Sea Orbiter Garnering comparisons to Star Trek Starship Enterprise, the Sea Orbiter is the brainchild of French architect Jacques Rougerie. In May 2015, workers completed the first piece of Sea Orbiter. The massive free-floating laboratory could someday soon roam the oceans, drifting on the ocean currents and giving a crew of scientists a chance to study the aquatic environment in a new way. Six of the Sea Orbiter's 12 floors are below sea level, allowing for uninterrupted underwater observation. Although the ship's main mission is to research the biodiversity and climate of the sea, the real goal for Rougerie is to give the public a better understanding of how crucial the ocean is to Earth's well-being. 99% of the $50 million project was financed through the French government and private companies. To get people more involved, Rougerie is crowdfunding the last 1% of the project. The more humans understand about the underwater world, the more respect they will have for it, he says. Number 8. Intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland a long-abandoned former quarry in one of Shanghai's distant suburbs hardly seems like a promising site for a new resort. But more than a dozen years and $300 million later, the intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland is truly a sight to behold. The 18-story resort by Jaden Carr Architects hugs the rock face in a harmonious yin and yang design, reimagining the relationship between city and nature. 16 of the 18 floors are underground, and two floors are actually underwater. Six underwater suites have their own saltwater aquariums, and every room has a balcony, a cozy theatre box from where you can watch the nightly water show. The light and water theatrics are mesmerizing, much more impressive than the water show at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. Guests even have an opportunity to customize the light show for celebrations or proposals. Number 7. Denmark's Disappearing Road When thinking of the man-made wonders of the world, it's easy to fixate on the skyscrapers dominating city skylines or architectural masterpieces built centuries ago. The Freedom Tower in New York City, the Great Wall of China, but there are plenty of little-known wonders in places you might not expect. Take, for instance, the Orisund Bridge, which connects two European countries. Residents were unaware of just how spectacular their new path of travel was going to be, but when construction was finished, people across the planet had to pick their jaws up off the floor. Only a bird's-eye view could truly show how spectacular and wondrous the bridge was. The Orisund Bridge is a marvel of modern engineering, it consists of a combined road and rail line that runs for 8 kilometers 
at which point it then transitions into an underwater tunnel. In total, the bridge or tunnel stretches 12 kilometers, connecting Denmark and Sweden. The bridge first opened in July of 2000 as a primary means of transit for the entire region. The structure carries a data cable through its infrastructure that serves as a connection hub for much of the internet across Europe. In terms of notable feats of achievement for the bridge, the Oresund Bridge is the longest combined road rail bridge in the entire European continent. Number 6. Floating Seahorse Villas Dubai adds a wow factor to everything it does, and when it runs out of space, it just builds more land where there is none. The iconic World Islands stand testament to this. The Europe Islands within the world are where Dubai's latest splash in innovation sits. The gorgeous, floating seahorse villas Dubai that redefine not just luxury living, but luxury underwater living. The project developer, Klein Dienst Group, has modeled floating seahorse villas Dubai to give residents a sense of the yacht life. Each of these floating wonders is a tiny island by itself, surrounded by sea with distant views of the city skyline. Another standout feature of the floating seahorse villas Dubai is the submerged level under each villa. Pure engineering marvel. It has coral reef installed that provides a home for endangered marine species to live and breed in safety. This eco-friendly element provides residents with spectacular, uninterrupted views of marine life in their natural habitat. It really doesn't get more luxurious than this. Each floating seahorse villa has three levels. Underwater level with the bedrooms, sea level that houses the living room area and a fitted kitchen, and an upper sky deck with a lounge area and kitchenette. Number 5. Longest Underwater Highway Xinhua reported that construction of a tunnel has started under Taihu Lake in East China's Yangtze province. It'll be the longest and widest underwater highway tunnel in China. The Jiangsu Provincial Department of Transport said Tuesday that a 43.6-meter wide highway tunnel on Shangzhou Wuxi Highway will run for 10.8 kilometers under the lake. Xiao Wengjun, head of the project, said the tunnel is scheduled to open in 2021. Chia said that Taihu Lake is a famous scenic place tunnel construction must not impact on the lake's environment. Number 4. Deepest Underwater Restaurant Open in late 2016, 5.8 Undersea Restaurant is the world's largest all-glass underwater restaurant. Its name comes from the depth at which the restaurant sits, 5.8 meters, about 19 feet, below the surface. This huge construction weighs 400 metric tons and is 90 square meters. To access the restaurant, diners walk across a pier towards the resort's overwater aquarium restaurant and head down a separate path to a long, winding staircase. Each of 5.8's 10 tables offers views of the outside action. The coral landscape, which stretches around the edges of the tubular structure, draws all shapes and sizes of sea life right up to the glass, leaving you with the inescapable feelings that you're the one on display and the sea life are actually looking in at you. Number 3. Project Natic As a major player in the cloud infrastructure market, Microsoft is keen on figuring out better ways to store and power its machinery. To that end, it's now deployed a data center on the sea floor of the Orkney Islands in Scotland. The idea is part of Project Natic, an initiative to identify environmentally sustainable ways of running large-scale data management units. The first phase, which kicked off in 2014, saw Microsoft build a small submersible data center that housed the equivalent of 300 desktop PCs and drop it into the ocean back in February 2016 to test whether it'd actually work. That vessel operated for nearly four months. In Phase 2, which started in June 2018, the company has fit 864 servers on 12 racks in a sealed submersible that's about the size of a standard 40-foot-long shipping container. It's designed to function for five years without requiring any maintenance. Why take all this effort to dunk data centers underwater? According to Microsoft, it's about energy efficiency and fast data transfer. The company notes that roughly half the world's population lives within 120 miles of the shore, so being able to house servers near them could allow for quicker access to online services. Next, these can be powered by windmills located near the water, so you'd never have to worry about outages or energy costs. Lastly, the water in the ocean is perennially cold and thus can take care of cooling the data centers without incurring additional costs for thermal balance. Number 2. Under Five meters below the surface of the North Sea, near the southernmost tip of Norway, 
Europe's first underwater restaurant is now complete. The 110-foot-long structure, an oblique concrete slab that looks like a sunken periscope, was submerged in July 2018 and welcomed the first guests in March 2020. The restaurant, called Under, is the design of Norwegian outfit Snow Hetta. Under seats up to 40 guests, protected by concrete walls half a meter or 1.6 feet thick, and has a total internal area of about 500 square meters or 5,300 square feet, set over three levels, offering unique underwater views of the surrounding marine environment through an 11 meter or 36 foot wide panoramic window. Under is not only a restaurant located below sea level, but also functions as a research center for marine life providing a tribute to the wild fauna of the sea and the rocky coastline of Norway's southern tip. The restaurant was built in about six months on a barge near the coast, then towed into position about 600 feet away with a heavy lift vessel. To submerge the structure, containers filled with water were placed inside before securing it to the seafloor with a total of 18 anchoring points. Number 1. Underwater Rail Network the UAE is a land of innovations and setting benchmarks in the world. After Hyperloop and driverless flying cars, now there is another futuristic but fanciful mode of transport for residents to look forward to – an underwater rail network. In near future, residents might be able to travel from Fujaira to Indian city of Mumbai by undersea rail network. Apart from transit of passengers, there will be exchange of goods in the form of fresh water flowing from India to the UAE and oil being exported back through pipeline. National Advisor Bureau Limited Managing Director and Chief Consultant Abdullah al Shehi said during the UAE-India conclave in Abu Dhabi. Floating trains or maglev use magnetic repulsion systems to move the train at a high speed, taking advantage of the lack of friction. The high-speed maglevs trains are currently under operation in China and Japan, but several countries like Australia, US, Israel and the UK have plans to introduce the rail system. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.